guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to show you guys how to achieve this beautiful brown lip with this reddish brown eye and all the products well majority of the products for the eye and the lip is ColourPop and I wanted to do something soft and glam for you guys for Valentine's Day so here it is so the first thing I did was prime my eye with my um, elf Eye primer and I did the other eye already so you guys can see that so I'm taking this color pop shade and this is this brown shade is closer to my skin color and I'm gonna post all the eye products from first to end in the description box but I'm placing this on in my crease and closer to my eyebrow this is a good shade to use to transition with and I'm placing a beige tone under my eyebrow for a little bit of highlight <laughs> So now I'm just going to set that um, brown cream powder, I mean cream eyeshadow because you know all of ColourPop eyeshadows are like a cream base. Taking this next eyeshadow by ColourPop, I, it's more of a brownish reddish tone and I'm placing that right in the crease area. Sorry guys for the angle of the camera. I thought I was catching every single thing but apparently I wasn't. <laughs> So I'm just going back in with this flat synthetic brush and I'm kind of placing the color in and I'm using my finger because it's best to use your finger with the ColourPop products. So I'm taking this darker shade. It's kind of like the first shade. It's just a tad bit darker and a little bit redder so it kind of brings that all in and I'm placing that all over the lid and into the crease um this color is just helps bring the whole look together so you don't want to place this color first all over you kind of want to build up to this <laughs> Now I'm taking the last color and this color is so gorgeous. It has little sparkly pieces and I'm just placing that only on the lid and I'm going to make sure I blend it out. The whole time I'm using the same flat synthetic brush by IT Cosmetics because it works best. You don't want to really use a fluffy brush too much because it's kind of hard to blend them out. <laughs> So now I'm going into this MAC palette. You guys know I love this palette. And I'm taking those two dark shades, blending them together to set the darker um, eyeshadows in my crease and closer to my brow bone. This will help This will help set those um, eyeshadows so they won't go anywhere and to just bring a little bit more depth. And I'm taking my own foundation that's in my color and going in the inner corner of your eye. I feel like this helps opening, open and brighten up the eye. Using a little bit of mascara to go ahead and set my lashes before I place my falsies. And I already placed a thin line across my um, eyelash line with my same gel liner. So I placed my lashes and those were the 110s by Ardell. Using my L'Oreal foundation in these two colors and I'm going to place them the, the names of them below. And I mix them together and I'm just dotting that on my face. <laughs> I feel like when I dot it on my face, I get a better coverage than when I just dip it in my brush into the foundation. And I'm now just going to wet my brush um, with the e.l.f. Uh, Makeup Mist. And this is also a e.l.f. Um, brush. So I'm making sure I'm blending, getting my neck and my hairline. That's very important when you're doing foundation because you don't want it to show where it ends and where it begins.
So now I'm going to use my MAC Pro Conceal and I love this concealer for looks when I really want really good coverage. And I had dark circles that day guys so I am going for a deep coverage this day. So I love this concealer. Um, It does set a little bit fast so you have to move way faster when you're doing your highlight with this concealer. So using my uh, my beauty sponge, I'm just going to blend out my concealer. Um, I usually do my contour and like put my contour on and then do them all at the same time. But because uh, this dries pretty fast, I have to do my highlight first. And I love this sponge. It helps blend out my concealer really good. And I'm just taking the leftover of that concealer and placing it on my chin and at the bottom of where my contour is going to be. Now using this foundation, um, it's like a liquid foundation by MAC. This is what I use to create my contour. So you guys know the drill. I do this on all my videos. I contour and I highlight and whatever. I just make it work. Um, I'm not a perfection. You know, I can't do it really perfect, but this is how I achieve my... And I'm just taking this small fluffy brush and I'm contouring my nose. I don't really do a deep contour on my nose because I don't like the way it really looks. Now I'm just setting my highlight with this foundation powder that I've been using. Um, this is by L'Oreal and it's like a beige shade and it gives it a more yellow tone than using translucent powder which gives you a more ashy white tone. And I'm going to let this bake or cook um, as if you would do any other setting powder. I smoke So this is my foundation by MAC, it's the Studio Fix, and this is probably the only foundation powder foundation I use, so I'm just placing that all over my face, and um, it helps blend out my highlight and my contour all together, so it looks so pretty and well blended and bomb, you guys. Taking this blush by MAC. I'm going to place this on the apples of my cheeks just to help bring a little bit more color to my face. And I like to blend my blush into my contour a little bit because it makes it look a little bit more natural. Using this highlight, and this is by ColourPop, and I'm placing this right on my cheeks. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. And I'm taking it and putting it on the bridge of my nose and my little cubist bow and my chin. Now I'm going to spray my face with my e.l.f. Um, makeup mist spray and this helps blend all those powders together and make it look less powdery <laughs> and i'm going to do my bottom lashes with the same mascara that i had earlier and like i said guys this this look is very soft and semi-glam so i wanted my lashes to look really natural 
So now I'm just going to take that dark brown shade that I used by ColourPop and I'm going to list that again below so you guys know which one it was and placing that in my the bottom waterline just blending out with that same flat um, synthetic brush by uh, e.l.f. Cosmetics and I'm going to take a little bit of my highlight the same one I placed on my cheeks and put that on the inner corner of my eye guys this is a really good tip because it helps open and brighten the eye even more and it draws more attention to your eyes. So I'm just touching up on them brows. You know, you gotta keep them on point all the time. So I love to place some mascara on my eyebrows sometimes just to help settle those little hairs. And now it's time for the lips. So the first thing I'm going to say guys is that I totally apologize because you cannot see what was happening. But I did set my lips with a e.l.f. Um, dark brown lip pencil and then this is the color Limbo by ColourPop that I'm placing on my lips and you guys couldn't see that. I kept moving so I can try to be in the frame but I totally didn't even notice that I wasn't. So I'm just cleaning it up with some foundation and everything and that was it. So that's the final look guys. I hope you guys like it and I can't wait to see you dolls in my next video. Bye guys.